Hi everyone, I welcome all of you on my YouTube channel, Deepak Sabnani's YouTube channel. This is your own channel. We are completing complete engineering maths without skipping a single topic, without skipping a single question. Around thousands of questions I will cover on this channel. If you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe. You can watch this if you belong to, in, to any engineering department. If you belong, if you are preparing for the semester exams, you can follow this. We will cover concepts, every concept with basics every concept with zero okay you can watch the playlist the complete playlist is there complete engineering maths for gate ies and semester exams you can watch that and enjoy now without wasting the time we'll solve this problem right so this is a fantastic problem which has been asked in gate which has been asked in gate and it carries two marks it has been asked in civil engineering carries two marks in 2023 okay so I'll show you here that without even without even knowing the differential calculus, you can check continuity, differentiability, everything you can check. Uh, but how you should know how to how to plot the free sketch, you must know how to plot the free sketch. Okay. So let's see the function is e to the power x mod sin x. So one is is MSQ. Why it is MSQ? Because this is very important. Is or R. So please take care in the exam that. If they are asking is or are, then there may be more than correct, one correct answers. Okay, there is the one thing, it is the MSQ. So why I am highlighting here? Because many of you don't know that in gate, there are MCQ where single answer is correct and MSQ where more than one answer can be correct. So if you look at this problem, fx is e to the power x to mod sin x they are asking to the power x into mod sin x now i want to plot it how to plot it look at my last videos look at my last videos i have already told how to plot e to the power x and i already told how to plot how you can transform the graph look at the last videos okay in the last video itself i explained that how you can plot if fx is given then how you can plot mod fx and with the help of these two i will show you how to plot e to the power x mod sin x so if you look at e to the power x, so e to the power x in the last videos I already explained how you can plot e to the power x, this is e to the power x, e to the power x, so it will go till infinity, it will go till infinity, okay. And in the last videos I have already covered how to plot sin x also. And sin x is very basic function, so sin x, if you see, if I draw a line here at x equal to 0, e to the power x is 1 and maximum value of sin x is 1, right. But in place of sin x, he is asking mod sin x. He is asking mod sin x. So, how you can plot mod sin x here? So, mod sin x is also very simple. In the last video, I have shown if you know the graph of fx, then what steps you have to follow to plot graph of mod fx? So, sin x graph will look like this. This is graph of sin x will go till infinity. So if you see this is graph of sin x will go till infinity okay but mod sin x if you want to plot mod sin x then you have to remove the portion which is below x axis because mod can never take a negative value so whatever values are negative delete them and reflect it about x axis reflect it about x axis so this is actually graph of mod sin x so many times actually this question has been asked mod sin x has been asked so i have given you for all if you know fx, you can plot mod fx for all the functions, whatever is there, right? So this graph will look something like this. This graph will look something like this. So nothing will be below x-axis. Nothing will be below x-axis. Now, if you have to plot, if you want to plot e to the power x mod sin x, then you can see that how this graph will looks like when if you can see this portion where it is 0, where e to the power x is almost 0. So, when e to the power x is almost 0, so whatever you multiply to 0, you will get 0. So, e to the power x into mod sin x will be mostly 0 here. Then, when value of e to the power x become little bit positive, so positive into positive will take some positive values. Then, but it is a fraction, right? Here, if you see it, is, if it is less than 1, 0 to 1, it is a fraction. If you multiply fraction, fraction will become smaller. So here if you see, this graph will take a turn, but little smaller turn, smaller turn, right? And then it will take turns. Now, 0, it is at 0, x equal to 0. 
is power x1 this is 0 so 0 into 1 is 0 but now it will be it will follow this curve but value will increase because if you multiply 1 into let's say 3 1 into 3 is 3 so your graph will be like this and at 0 into whatever 0 into whatever it will be 0 similarly it will become more bigger similarly it will become more bigger and so on and at one state it will become infinity when it is power x is infinity this will also become infinity okay so this is a free hand sketch of e to the power x mod sin x this is a free hand sketch of e to the power x mod sin x e to the power x mod sin x free hand sketch okay now you can see that how simply i'll give the answer the function is continuous if there are no breaks in the graph in continuity i'll discuss that if there are no breaks in the graph that function is continuous you can see that in this graph there is no break in this graph it is no there is no break and exponential is a continuous function mod sin x is a continuous function product of two continuous function is also continuous this also i'll discuss this also i will discuss so it is a continuous function it is a continuous function so first is true the function is differentiable now 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 without differentiability you can say it is not differentiable the function is not differentiable if there is sharp corners if there is sharp corner there will be two multiple tangents this also i will discuss this also i will discuss if there is sharp corner it is not differentiable so actually it is not differentiable at many points it is not differentiable at many points because there are so many sharp corners so this is false it is not differentiable function is periodic if it is periodic it should repeat its nature after certain fixed period but it is not repeating the nature it is forming the same uh, nature curve but range is different range is different range is different range is different so function is not repeating its nature after pi it becomes different it becomes different so it is not periodic it is not periodic the function is bounded no because its range you can directly see its range is 0 to infinity right its range is 0 to infinity so as the range interval is not finite it is taking infinite so it is unbounded function it is not bounded it is unbounded function so answer is a and i am telling you without knowing the basics of function you can never solve it it will take a lot of time but if you know the basics of function even a very tough question can be solved very quickly if you practice function then i have taken time because i have to explain you if i have to solve it within minute i can solve it okay so cut 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 just plot the graph and give the answer i hope you are enjoying the videos thank you for watching this video